Hello, today we're exploring further the gas diffusion module that we have referred to in the past with cyanide, but this time we're going to be applying it to uh, the ammonias. So TKN and drinking water, you have a gas diffusion module which the phases are separated by a very simple membrane. This method was approved by the EPA in the 2012 Muir, it actually replaces distillation for uh, in the case of ammonia and also the value for TKN is that the sample is introduced directly from the auto sampler whether or not it's been digested with copper or mercury or even if these samples have been uh, extracted from soil or whatever they are they come directly from the auto sampler, they mix with a heavy base, causing the ammonia to turn to gas, it passes across the membrane, is received into a weak bleach solution. This it goes on to mix with salicylate and nitroferrous cyanide and goes into the heater and then is measured in a color metric detector at 660. This one cartridge now completely alleviates the need for distillation or multiple cartridges and the use of phenol because everything that was in the sample vial stays below the membrane. Only the gas passes across and is received. So it is very nice for the operators. They're able to use one cartridge. They don't have to use phenol. They don't have to distill. And you can run a multiple uh, types of matrices on it very easily. Um, it's very sensitive as well, especially uh, for TKN, which often has levels only down to 0.2 or 0.5. This can go easily down to 0.1 or less. I believe that you will find this cartridge to make it much easier to run uh, various forms of ammonia. Please look for further uh, videos discussing this and the advantage of, of this type of analysis, and thank you very much.